sorry about the reflection of this. This is the X-Tool D8. And from what I understand it to be the most, well, the most helpful and least expensive for the DIY guy. Um, it does have some pretty good bi-directional features in it. I haven't tapped into probably 90% of them or used them, but um, I did, however, manage to look at the features as far as it goes for the Toyota Highlander that I own, and it is able to con to program key fobs and newly cut keys. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if a lot of you may or may not know certain year model ranges for the 2012 high or for excuse me the Toyota Highlander. You're able to program fobs and keys uh, manually, um, but the 2012 and newer requires a scan tool uh, or a programmer to operate it. Um, the procedure is basically, you know, door open, door shut, flick the key kind of thing, um, which is kind of standard, I think, with a lot of vehicles that are, I would say, you know, late 90s, early 2000, um, and 2010. So, I have been able to go into, I guess we're just going to look at our updates. Tends to seem like there's updates on a regular basis. I kind of want to, oop, special EGR function. Let's look through some of these injector coding. Start, stop, reset. I don't have any of those, those features on my vehicle. But it's kind of cool little deal. And I think a lot of these updates are, are specific. Obviously this one says Lamborghini. I don't own one. I'll probably never get the opportunity to touch one. Be kind of cool. Um, these are just basic updates. Some of mine, I don't, I don't know what they are or what they're for. Australia Ford update. I don't have one of those, but let's do it anyway. Special, oops. Special function clutch. I wonder what this is for. GM diagnosis, Bentley. I should go through every few days and just upgrade or update these. I wonder if there's any updates for Toyota in here. I was having an issue for one reason or another, getting this thing to auto scan my Highlander. And I think I just needed to go in and manually select it because I was able to get it that way. Um, at, at some point, it did auto scan it. However, it uh, transport mode. I wonder what that's for. Yeah, this is a, from what I understand, um, the Toyota car care guy talks pretty highly about this. I've heard other YouTubers talk about them. Um, I have yet to use any of any of the cool features with it, um, but I was able to confirm that I could program my fobs if I needed to or my keys, which comes in pretty handy. Um, you know, mine is a turn key. It's the G. I think it's my key is a G key and a fob, and I ordered some aftermarket used fobs and was able to program them just fine. Um, I also have the TechStream software on a tablet that I picked up um, and it works for all the Toyota stuff that I need for that. Um, I've only got just the 98 Ram 1500 which you've seen. Uh, the crate engine assembly, well Mostly, so it was it, it was fully assembled, uh, except the. Well, I guess you could say it was the the timing assembly was assembled. There was no cover on it when I when I picked up the motor, um, and the engine was built with the heads assembled onto it and everything else around it. I put on, um, and it, that truck still runs pretty strong. I really haven't put a lot of miles on it since I've done it. Um, kind of, given that to my son, you know, that's. Uh, 
I guess every dad's dream is to be able to fix or build a vehicle for their kid. I guess we'll just update them all. In the meantime, let's see if I have any... Oh, yeah. Cool, so this is the Highlander. Stability malfunction. I need to get that actually looked at because it comes on and off. Um, probably need to check the vehicle speed sensor. What was this? Oh, it was live data I was looking at. Um, cruise control, all this off. Tire pressure. 36, 39. They're all pretty close. I probably need to check number one again. Um, temperature, blah, blah, blah. This was just this was just a live, live data that I... I looked at so it saves all that cool stuff in there do I have a data playback no I didn't record anything it gives you the the option for that of course I want to look at oh I see what it is don't need any of that Yeah, I can't get into anything yet until I actually look at it, so we'll just let this this update. Just thought I'd mention some of it. I'll uh, dig into it at another video at a later date, and I probably need to do some more research about it. But this is also the Bluetooth version, so that's your Bluetooth. It takes a long time for some reason to charge. Um, there's a data cable if you need one. Uh, it's not for this necessarily, but well, I guess it doesn't it doesn't. I don't think it deals with Bluetooth at all. I think that's all direct. Yeah, so that's pretty cool little guy right there.